Hello, welcome back. On today's session, we're going to cycle in. One of the important skills of a programmer is able to read other programs, not just his own. Ideas abound on how to solve a problem with the possibility of multiple approaches to a solution. Internet offers a lot of solutions, but only few knows how to decipher what the program means. This tutorial includes a sections like this that will help programmer decode what other programmers approach in solving the problem. We will read and trace values of variables line by line through our simulation board. This would be our example program. Let us save and run. And this is the output. Let us discuss our program. As we declare integer variable a, b, and c, we assign its initial value with 1, 4, and 0 respectively. We evaluate C is equal to B plus A multiplied by 2. Applying the rule of precedence, multiply A with 2. The product resulted to a value of 2, which is added to B with a value of 4. The sum of the expression is 6, which is assigned to variable C. Increment B. B has now a value of 5. Again, applying the rule of precedence, we evaluate first the operations inside the parentheses. Deduct 1 from B, which has a value of 5, before multiplying it with C with a value of 6. Modulus operations between 7 and 3 achieves 1. The final operation on this line is addition of 24 and 1 that produces a sum of 25 which is assigned to A. The next three lines display the literal text and close in double quotes, concatenated with the values of A, B, and C. Please note that the cursor moves to another line after printing each value through C because of system.out.println command. Value display at this point are 25, 5, and 6. The if statement evaluates if B is greater than C. We know that the current value of B is 5 and C has a value of 6. Therefore, the evaluation has a false result by passing the statements underneath the if statement. Instead, the block statements underneath the else statement are executed. Decrement the value of b. b is now 4. Add 4 to b. b is updated with the value of 8. Multiply 6 value of c with 3. This operation produces a new value for, for c which is 18. After skipping a new line, system.out.println display the value of A, B, and C with the concatenated literal text values of A, B, and C are couple of commas and word respectively on, on the word respectively. On this line, we achieve values of A, B, C are 25, 8, 18 respectively. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.